Packers. Um, what's your guys' preference? Are we want to go ahead and start? I think so. Yeah, Mr. President. Hmm. I'm good to start whenever you guys are, unless we need yeah. to contact the student speaker and make sure that they're well. There, we're doing that, and and if he if he shows up, we'll we'll get him in here. That's okay. a good idea. Sure they have an opportunity. That's all. Okay. All right, so Kia, are you ready to begin the process? And as just a reminder, we will uh, wait for an all clear before we actually go. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Latham, we are ready to begin. Thank you, Alan. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Uh, this meeting will be conducted entirely via video conferencing. The public may view or listen uh, to the meeting at the following live stream URL, www.metrotech.edu backslash MTC dash live. Um, at this point, we'll go ahead and uh, call the roll. Joanne, will you call the roll? Ms. Sarah McKinney. Ms. McKinney. You're muted. He's muted. You're muted. Yeah. Thank you. Ms. McKinney. Here. Dr. Ture. Here. Ms. Campos. Here. Ms. Richards. Here. Mr. Latham. Here. Mr. McKinney. Here. And Mr. Perry. Here. All present. Okay, perfect. We have a quorum. Um, at this point, I'll turn it over to the superintendent, Superintendent Collins, for the superintendent's report. Thank you, uh, President Latham. It's so good to see everybody uh, this evening. And uh, I, I feel um, just blessed to be able to be with the, the team uh, this evening. And um, it's good to see everyone. Just a couple of reminders, a short board report for this month. Today is the last virtual special board meeting. And remember that that um, was from the governor and, and that's over with. So emergency statute allowing boards to meet virtually expires November 15th. So we did get the November one in um, through Zoom. So uh, we will need to do in person on December, in December. So I will um, send out more information and um, we will get with our safety team to, to work on that to ensure that we're safe and that we are spaced out as we are to be. And um, we'll need to wear face coverings and have mm -hmm. our temperature checks. So I do want to remind everyone on that. Grateful to our facilities, maintenance, and grounds department for the amazing work that they have done and continue to, to do in the, the vast uh, cleanup. Also grateful to OG&E and getting service up um, quickly here at the district. As you know, we have two polling places at two different campuses and they got online and electricity and everything went well um, with that. Um, we appreciate our, our team as well as uh, Mike Shelton and his, his assistants and helping to make sure that things went well um, at those polling locations. Also a great shout out to our transportation department on a, an icy and getting icy quickly on that afternoon, our transportation department um, 
acted quickly yet cautiously as we moved our um, buses to pick up and um, delivered everyone safely. Thank you so much to our drivers and the great work that they do. Um, that was a very difficult situation and, and thank you so much to our drivers and the work that they did on that day. Uh, there is uh, listed on um, the events calendar, the OKC Hispanic Chamber Gala uh, that has been changed from December 11th to June 4th. So please make sure that you make those uh, changes. Uh, we continue to um, work and move on um, construction projects. Uh, we continue to um, move and work towards um, our accreditation uh, visit. Appreciate so much um, that that team. It's 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 fairly large, as you know, on that team with accreditation. Um, but they're doing excellent work in preparing for that visit in the uh, in December, early December. So appreciate that work. Uh, continuing to moving forward and and looking at um, various situations as such as. Um, other tech, um, career tech's salary skills, and to see where we're at um, with the, you know, comparative to our local career techs and, and salary scales. So we are looking at that um, and, and just, just seeing what that data looks like. We'll share that data with you as, as soon as we get that. Um, as you know, there's several districts in our area that does experience and education um, we don't currently have that. I, I think that might be something we might want to look at as years of experience and, um, and education. We also um, don't give full um, years of experience. Um, we give, I believe, a maximum of, of 10, if I remember that procedure um, correctly. Uh, so just going to look at that and, and be able to get that together and, and be able to, to share that, um, that uh, with you. That concludes my um, report, President Latham. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, at this point, do you want to, we have some presentations, I believe. We, we do, if there's no questions on the superintendent report, we can move towards um, our presentations. Board members, do we have any questions on the superintendent's report? Seeing none, I'll let you continue. Thank you, sir. Um, at this time, I have the privilege to introduce um, Mike Collier, and I believe that they will get his camera up and operating and that he has a guest that he will introduce and have present to us. Mike? Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Collins. Uh, I'm fortunate to be able to work with our custodial crew here at Metro Technology Center, and I have with me Bill Sparrow. Uh, Bill has been with Metro Tech now for 20 years. He is our lead custodian, and he is the one who has his pulse on everything the custodians are doing and have done for us. And he has a little bit of a report to share how we have evolved since the pandemic of COVID-19. Uh, we certainly have been blessed with a, um, we, you know, we just talked about how we have power back. Unfortunately, at Service Center, we don't have power. Uh, I'm hoping og &E sure. is here because we just lost more power. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to turn it over to Bill and let Bill share with you what he has done and what his team has done to prepare us and allow us to have students and staff back in our buildings. Wonderful. Bill? Greetings and salutations. Hello. Is, uh, <laughs> very, very happy to be here. Um, finally, in front all 20 years, first time in front of the board. People are asking me, you're in front of the board. What what's wrong? <laughs> I was like, nothing's wrong. Nothing is wrong. Anyway, uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk about um, how thankful that the custodial department is to be able to have the equipment and the chemicals that we're provided with to be able to clean and disinfect the district. Um, we, were, we were allowed to come back a little early uh, around mid-May and start cleaning and disinfecting the campuses. And then board approved, we were able to have misting, mister devices, atomizers, and we we're able to 
uh, spray the campuses either early morning or in the evening. And we have one custodian per campus that does that. And, and he does a lot. They do a lot of the uh, heavy duty work. But each custodian in their own buildings, in their own sections, they do uh, touch, high touch area disinfecting. And this is kind of the, the star of the show right here, uh, our D23 disinfectant. And we spray uh, all the high touch areas in between breaks and uh, especially in between when the classes cross, uh, we make sure we spray tabletops and a lot of the push plates and, and any of the high touch areas. Um, we're just, we're just really, I'm, I'm very thankful to, be, to work for Metro Tech and uh, mm -hmm. we were able to work through this time and very, I mean, very privileged. If you can tell, I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know, are there any questions you guys have for the custodial department? Just a word of appreciation, Mike. If you guys didn't do your job, nobody else could do theirs. It takes teamwork and team effort, and it is a great team to be a part of. Um, the only question that I would have, oh, go ahead, Miriam. I, I was just going to say, um, one, thank you so much for your time and dedication to Metro Tech. 20 years is easily said, but um, it does take a lot of time. So we thank you for that. And I know your team is working really hard. Uh, we appreciate all of you. Um, anytime that I was in the building, I that was something that I always noticed that it was so um, well taken care of. So we appreciate it and thank you all. Thank you. I, I, I wanna echo that, that thanks. I uh, appreciate everything you're doing. and. And just to add to that, say, you know, uh, you, you mentioned board approved. If there's other things that you feel like you need um, during this process, um, please don't hesitate to ask. I want you to know that um, I won't speak for the whole board, but I'll speak for myself uh, that, you know, if there's something that you need, I, I'm, you've got one yes vote to do your job and be able to do it well during this time. Um, and I have a feeling you have other yes votes as well from the nods that I'm seeing around um, mm -hmm. the, the, the Zoom here. So um, please let us know. We wanna make sure that our staff and, and student safety is uh, a top priority and continues to be. So um, let us know how we can help. Um, we will. Mr. President, go ahead, Ms. I, I truly believe the importance of, of equipping our team to be successful. Mm -hmm and getting them the tools they have to have to be able to be successful. And you all allow us to do that. And we'll, con you know, we hope to see that continuing in the future. Absolutely. And Mr. President, I, I just wanna kind of follow up on something that Mr. Perry said. I appreciate you, Superintendent Collins. You've invited the whole staff. It takes all of us. You've had the custodians, bus drivers, and now um, we have uh, the custodian services here tonight. I, I think it begs well to let folks know they are appreciated. From whatever position you have at Metro Tech, you make a difference. And when you do your job well, no matter what it is, it makes us all look good. And so I just I just want to say to you, Superintendent Collins, I, li I like that inclusiveness, including the whole team when we hear presentations. Instruction is number one, most definitely. Taking care of staff is also very important, but you, you've got to create the total environment so we can all succeed. So I appreciate having custodial services here tonight. Thank you. And I would like to add to, for the superintendent, I appreciate the follow-up reports because it, I don't know about other board members, it makes me feel more comfortable about the entire situation that we're in. It makes me feel comfortable in knowing that things are being done to take mm -hmm. care of everything and everyone. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. If, if I may just add two things. Um, I cannot take credit for this. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I appreciate Zach Gleason and the committee getting together about opportunities to be able to highlight our people. And so, uh, Zach, thank you for, for 
doing this, um, for steering this committee for us. Bill, it's good to see you on Zoom, and I'm grateful that I uh, had the opportunity to, to meet you. Um, thank you so much for all that you guys are, are, are doing, and, and it's, it's wonderful work. I know that you're way above the scope of what we ever thought custodial services would look like, and, and they're doing an excellent job. I know what time it is because um, they come by and, and wipe my door down at a certain <laughs> time every day, so I don't even have to look at what time it is, and, and so you've You've organized and processes and procedures that are going brilliant. And, and thank you, Bill, for the great work that you're leading in this valuable work to keep students, partners, community, um, and, and businesses moving and growing. Um, it's because of you we're able to do that. So thank you. You're welcome. We are better together and we look forward to continuing in that, that state. President Latham, if there's not anything else, uh, we'll go to our next presentation, if that's okay, if there's no other questions for, for Bill or Mike. Doesn't look like it, please continue. Yes, sir. So I'll have uh, Jeremy, uh, Mr. Cowley, to get on first and to uh, introduce, he's, he's going to introduce our, our next guest. Uh, and without further ado, um, I believe uh, they are ready, and so we can unmute both of them, and Jeremy can introduce our guests tonight. Thank you, Mr. Collins and Board of Education. Thank you for allowing time to highlight uh, an outstanding former student at South Bryant campus. Um, with this this uh, individual came to mind very quickly when talking with our staff here at South Bryant, and and um, it, it gives me great uh, privilege to introduce to you um, William Howard. And uh, William is really a highlight of multiple programs at uh, Metro Tech. Um, William was a William was a full time student, adult student for us in our uh, climate and energy control technology or HVAC program here at South Bryant campus in 2018 and 2019 school year. And um, there's there's not enough pages to put the glowing things that um, William's instructor and uh, coordinator of our best program had to say uh, about William. But let me highlight a few of the things that they had to say about him because um, what an outstanding uh, student he was uh, here. But um, uh, William was, was a part of the best program um, with, with Metro Tech and as well as, as took um, uh, some help with our, with, with our uh, temporary aid for needy families, our TAMP programming, um, uh, services through Department of Human Services. So um, despite having some obstacles in his personal life, and he never let attendance or any of those things get in his way to come into work every day and being an outstanding student. He was uh, always engaged and affected, uh, attentive during his lectures and, and being involved in class discussions. And um, Mr. Smith just has uh, numerous accolades to, to put on uh, for William, was also recognized as uh, the student of the year um, in the HVAC program. Um, and, and there's no doubt that uh, William has been successful and will continue to be very successful um, in, his, in his career. Uh, currently, William uh, is working at Climate Master. It's a, that's a geothermal manufacturer here in Oklahoma City area. And the skills that he learned at Metro Tech are helping him grow and excel um, in the HVAC industry. Uh, Ms. Ms. Grusendorf, uh, the, the best coordinator, had to say this about William, um, said that William's shown the ability to continue to uh, get up no matter how many times he gets knocked down. And it requires, uh, he has the willpower and flexibility and the strength and determination that we want to see in all of our students and just has this drive to succeed at all costs. And so no matter what's going on in William's life, he shows up every day and is dedicated to make a better life for himself and a better life for his son. And um, I just can't think of, of a student that exemplifies a success story of Metro Tech, uh, Metro Tech more than William. And so I, I'll introduce again, William Howard and let you guys answer some questions and let you tell you a little bit about his experience um, at Metro Tech. Okay. My own? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, that was a beautiful introduction. Uh, I'm humbled. 
And uh, like I say, like Metro Tech has really inspired me to be great. Like the environment, the teachers from everybody there had a hand in helping me. So I really appreciate the experience that I had going to Metro Tech. I, I couldn't see me doing like going to any other school to get the quality qualifications that I have and get the experiences that I have gotten from uh, Metro Tech anywhere else. So I'm I'm humbled and I just want to thank everybody that had a helping hand in uh, my bringing up. You know, uh, coming to Metro Tech, like it was it, it was really opened up doors for me. Like I can show my sons how to work on units and build units and maintain everything. So I'm, I'm really grateful and appreciative about the experience that I had. Thank you. <laughs> what, do you what do you do at Climate Master? I used to be on the board of directors, so I know a little bit about it. And okay. I don't know what you're doing there. Well, I'm on the line right now, the assembly line. and so they get me in a position to work on their HVAC systems that is in the uh, building. Uh, I'm, I'll be on the line until they get me in. So I'm furthering my career up with Climate Master on up to the HVAC units. That's great. That's a that's a great technology you guys are, are manufacturing there. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming and sharing your experience. We, we do appreciate that. That's why I serve on the board and I'm sure speaking for others, we are so happy to see and hear of former students and their success stories. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank, thank you guys for having me. Hi William, thank you so much for um, taking the time to speak to mm -hmm. us today, we appreciate um, you taking the time, but also uh, the work that you have put in. It's not easy to go to school and have a family. So um, congratulations on that. And please let us know if there's anything else that we can do better to help continue helping students as well as a board. Mr. Howard, this is Linda Toure. I want you to know you said something and I just wrote it down as a quote. Metro Tech inspired you to be great. I want you to know you inspired me to be a better board member. Thank you for saying that. That's very yeah. inspirational. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome. We have any other board comments from, from Mr. Howard? I, I just want to say we appreciate you coming on and making the time in your evening. Um, and it's exciting to see uh, students um, success stories. We, we get to see uh, board agendas and decisions a lot, um, mm -hmm. but this makes us be able to yeah. connect some of the decisions that we make um, with the faces that, that, that are affected by it. Um, and it's good to know that we're doing something right because we and we only know that because we see people like you who are clearly doing something mm -hmm. right. And so um, we're, we're happy to have you as part of the family and hope you'll always consider us uh, part of your family. Like Miriam said, if there's anything we can do, please let us know. No doubt. And I thank you so much for that. Like, you guys changed my life. <laughs> and, and I'm so happy. I uh, uh, mean, just I'm humbled. I'm deeply humbled with the whole situation. And Mr. Smith, my instructor, like he was really a hands-on guy. And and there was a, a real important deal right there to have somebody who's in the field and know the ins and outs and can show you the way. And everything that I learned in the classroom, I applied it. And I mean, it's down to the T, <laughs> like everything. Like he's a great teacher. Like, I mean, Good to know. He was half <laughs> like like I don't feel like if it wasn't for Metro Tech and Mr. Travis Smith, like I don't I don't know if I could have got through it. Like you guys have awesome staff, like everything was great. Like thanks for sticking with me and I saw it through and man, my heart is <laughs> I love you today. <laughs> and Mr. Howard, our heart is as well. Amen. And, and we're humbled. And thank you, and so thank you for um, thank you greatly for sharing your story and your passion. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank we're you. humbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> President Latham. Collins, do we have any other presentations? Or? Those are our presentations for the evening. How awesome those were. It was great. Thank you very much. And I'll let you move on to the financial report. We will bring in Mr. Bruce Campbell. Appreciate the, the work that he's doing and sending our way and assisting us. And so Mr. Campbell, as our treasurer and with tonight's financial report. Mr. Campbell. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Collins. And good evening to all of you. Um, good evening. Thank you. The uh, treasurer's report this month is a little bit different in that it contains uh, financials. This is the only time you should see two months being presented because we're, we're catching up to the point where we will be bringing the first prior month financials to you uh, instead of the second prior month. So the October uh, balance sheet and financial statement is the one that I'll primarily focus on and, uh, and uh, visit with you about tonight and certainly answer any questions you might have. Uh, so at the end of October, um, the balance sheet presents the financial position of the school district at that point in time for the five funds that fall under the custody of the treasurer. And, um, you know, it's, it's been said many times, I'm sure you've heard many times that these first five months of the, year, of the fiscal year are those times where we experience a negative cash flow situation. And that's why it's important for us to build a healthy fund balance in the general fund to get us first those, through those first few months. Um, that certainly is trending in the right direction at Metro Tech. I did uh, give you a memo this month that highlighted some items that are on that balance sheet and in the treasurer's report that, that emphasize some important points. Uh, would be happy to address questions you might have. Feel like the school district is in, is in good financial shape and, and uh, will continue to improve. So would be happy to address questions you might have. Um, Bruce, just a comment. Um, I did notice the memo and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. It helped yeah. clarify some things. Mm -hmm. Very good. good. Very helpful. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. We are liquid. Uh, hey, yes, we are. We certainly are. And we have, um, we're moving into those months, the end of November through uh, January, where we will have substantial revenues coming in, uh, very substantial revenues. That's our heaviest collection period of the year. And so, you know, now if we could just find a way to invest some of those dollars and earn a decent interest rate, that would be nice. But uh, if you, know, you do, let us know too. Yeah. Pardon me? If you find that, let us know too. <laughs> Cert certainly will. Certainly will. But we will. Uh, we'll do the best we can with it, and we'll uh, keep our investment short so that when things turn around, we'll be ready to go back into the market with some with some dollars and invest wisely. Any other questions? questions for Mr. Campbell? I don't have a question for Mr. Campbell, but uh, uh, Mr. Collins, what's your opinion of the of the way that the financial group is coming together? And uh, could you say a few words about that? Yeah, I'm I'm really uh, appreciative of, of Mr. Campbell and the work that's that's going on. Um, with with Phil and Matt and, and that team down there, and 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 we're in a groove, a, a very positive groove, and and learning. We're learning from each other. We're we're figuring out, you know, how this this works. We realize and understand, you know, uh, of the financial situation. And and Mr. Campbell and and Matt are aware of that. Um, they know about the the you know where the state um, almost can't cut us any more money. Um, and we've we've looked at that. I, I see Bruce smiling because he, he he knows that within three hundred and fifty three thousand dollars is about all they can cut. Um, and, and and so we're aware of that, and we're being judicious uh, of um, upcoming budget. Um, Matt has been talking to the chief officers and preparing them as they prepare the directors to get ready for the the budget um, to sharpen our pencils and and to ensure that uh, we continue our vision as we've been talking about functional and economical. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bruce, did I speak out of line? I, I didn't mean to speak over the treasurer. I apologize. Uh, no, you didn't. You didn't do that at all. And I think you were right on track there. 
Any other questions for Mr. Campbell? No. For finance report at all, I guess. Seeing none, okay, we can move on. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Thank you. Thank you. Just the um, events as some reminders of, of uh, if you haven't been a part of one of the OK Ethics events before, those are, are really, really neat. Uh, and, and so if you want to sign up for one of those, are able to sign up, um, Ms. Joanne can assist uh, with that. I'm wishing everyone a, a happy uh, Thanksgiving and opportunity uh, to be reminded to, to be thankful and grateful of so many things that we have and so many wonderful things that are going on here at uh, Metro Tech. So our offices will be closed um, the 25th through the 27th. Um, the regular board meeting that we already talked about December 15th uh, being in room J and uh, want more information to come on that. Um, there is the ACTE Career Tech um, Virtual Vision um, November 30th through December 4th. Uh, that's information and as already stated about the, the date change for the, the Greater Oklahoma City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And then had a phenomenal um, Dr. Portis Memorial Golf Tournament um, to protect the guilty. I will not discuss who won the tournament, but I think it's like three times in a row. I'm sure they're, they're counting, but I'm not. But I do want the board to know that uh, $30,000 was raised for the foundation uh, for this memorial tournament and grateful to Ashley Gibson and her team um, and all the volunteers from Metro Tech. Um, 2016, 18 um, whole sponsorships and all of our sponsorships were sold as well. So grateful to the community for making that such a great success. And so don't forget about the Metro Tech Foundation annual sowing the seeds of success that has been changed to April. Great, thank you very much. Do we have any board member reports? Mr. President, are we talking about just general reports? I'd like yes. to just briefly discuss the Instructional Planning Committee and it's on the agenda uh, this evening for us to act on the police academy. And I, I just want to say that um, we do recommend that the board approve the addition of this program for adult learners. And don't know if there are other staff members that like to, Mr. Perry, if you want to comment, but we do ask that the board approve it tonight. It's agenda item seven, I believe, seven H, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is seven H. Yes, please. The only thing I would say is that I wholeheartedly agree. I have a short report. We had a uh, campus master plan meeting uh, week four last. Uh, I would like to comment that uh, Joe Meyer is uh, doing an excellent job. He and his team, they've saved us a pretty good chunk of money on, uh, on some of the things that uh, that they're working on. Of course, you have to remember that some things are gonna run over, so at least we'll have that laid back for those things. But I'm very, very well satisfied with the way that the, that the, uh, that the money's being spent and that the engineering and, and the architecture is working together. And, and thank you, Joe. That's all I have. <laughs> And then, um, Mr. Latham, I just have a couple of comments um, first uh, to all of our veterans. Um, we appreciate your service. I know we are celebrating that tomorrow. So just wanted to take a moment to thank you for your service. Um, and also I have seen um, MetroTech's name a lot more in just different events and things. I'm really plugged in in a lot of different community events and. Um, presentations. And so just before this call, I was in a Oklahoma City Ch Greater Chamber of Commerce. Um, and so we were present there. And so just, you know, I continue to see our um, our uh, staff and, and leaders present in a lot of different things in the community. So I know our name is getting plugged in in so many different areas. So I appreciate that. And um, also the um, I want to thank everyone for their work on getting back to school.
and, and my niece is joining me. So <laughs> um, I did want to say that um, the safety of our students and our um, teachers is very important to us. And we are going to stay on top of that and make sure that that is a priority. I know it's it's going to be difficult, um, you know, getting everyone back. But I just want to tell you all that that is um, something we take very seriously. And I appreciate all the work you are doing. I know a lot of other districts are having, you know, a difficult time getting that established. So um, we are listening to you and we appreciate all the work you are doing to get everyone safe um, into the classrooms, but also taking care of yourself is important to us. So thank you. Any other board member reports? If not all, I'll just say that uh, a couple of things. Uh, one, I wanna echo um, Miriam's statement. That you thank you to our veterans. I know we have a few that sit um, on this board uh, and just really appreciate your service. Um, it means a lot and excited to get to celebrate you this week. Um, secondly, I wanna echo her sentiment as well on keeping everyone safe. Um, I think as we're returning, I think there are a lot of things in the news, a lot of things happening, and I think it's our obligation to do everything we can to keep them safe. And so it was a very timely today, Superintendent Collins, to have the, the custodial team um, mm -hmm. on the call as we go by back you know, in person in a lot of schools. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, I really appreciate that. And I, I would appreciate, um, you know, I appreciate the continued updates. Um, they're, they're super helpful. And I think uh, Ms. McKinney said earlier, it's easy to have confidence in what's happening at Metro Tech um, because we're consistently updated as to some of the, how those things are being handled. So um, means the world. Um, and then lastly, I wanted to, to really give a shout out to our foundation um, staff, Ashley over there, um, the whole team. And, and not just our foundation. Um, I played in the golf tournament again this year. Um, I might have won the golf tournament again this year, um, but uh, we had a may have. I won't. I can't confirm or deny. Um, but uh, the the tournament went off without a hitch. Um, and a lot of other organizations, a lot of nonprofits out there are struggling to do what Metro Tech Foundation did um, last Friday. Um, and so it was really impressive to see the team pull it off. And I want to say I'm always blown away by how many staff members we have participating, um, volunteering, donating, you know, any way they can possibly help out. And I just really think that says a lot about how our staff views our foundation and how they work hand in hand. Um, and uh, it's really neat to see, and I hope to continue to see that. Um, and so I, I could name probably 50 staff members that I saw there helping in some capacity. Um, and that just blows me away because you don't see that at a lot of um, charity functions and uh, for other organizations, even when they're affiliated um, with the groups like Metro Tech. So um, it's really powerful. Yeah. And seeing no other board member reports, we'll go ahead and move on to uh, item number four, Chief Officer and Associate Superintendent board reports for review. Do we have any reports from Chief Officers or Associate Superintendent? I just appreciate if I may, you know, President Latham is one is that um, our Chief Officers and, and Associate Superintendent, the work that they do and uh, how they're sharing um, this information um, mm -hmm. keeps us all in tune to the vision and the mission that we're on together as a team. And you can really see where we're going and just grateful for them taking time to do that and to share that information. I know each of you have discussed um, how valuable that is. Mm -hmm. so we are mm -hmm. grateful for these reports and thank you for sharing and taking time to share with us. Absolutely. Uh well, and, and I'll say that Eric Lawless witnessed several of our golf shots this week. So if you don't believe the score, you can go get a report directly from one of our chief officers. And he can tell you that we actually did shoot really well at the golf tournament, Superintendent Collins. Um, so hearing no other reports, we'll move on to item number five. Oh, we have one. Did you have anything, Mr. Perry? No, I was just going to say it, it appears to me that an audit of the golf tournament was needed. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I welcome one. I welcome one. So. <laughs> All right, we'll move on to item number five. Uh, the approval of the minutes from our October 6th uh, board meeting. Do we have a motion? I move approval, Mr. President. This is Linda. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? 
Seeing no discussion, Joanne, will you call the roll? Ms. McKinney? Aye. Ms. Campos? Aye. Ms. Richards? Mr. Mr. Perry? Aye. Dr. Ture? Aye. Mr. McKinney? Aye. And Mr. Latham? Aye. Six, aye. We'll move on to I. If I may, Miss Richards. She's muted. Miss Richards. Trying, I think. Okay. We. Miss Richards. Can we? Let me see if I can text her. Big Keo, are you able to? Mm -hmm. We're trying to see if Takio could unmute. No answer. I think you may be on the phone with Keo, is my guess. Okay. Just, uh, just as uh, we could, we could ask. Uh, I guess it'd be appropriate to go ahead and do that uh, recount on the on the golf strokes this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. As we wait, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the consent docket. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number six. Okay. And there's Miss Richards. Aye. Whatever it was. Aye. Miss Richards out aye on the minutes. Okay. That's aye. All right. Seven aye on the minutes. Okay. We'll move on to item number six. Uh, the consent docket, we already, I don't know, Joanne, did you catch the motion on that one? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Perry and Ms. McKinney. Yes, Mr. Perry and Ms. McKinney was a second. Do we have, or uh, will you call the roll on that? Yes, sir. Ms. Richards? Aye. Ms. McKinney? Aye. Mr. Perry? Aye. Dr. Ture? Aye. Mr. McKinney? Aye. Ms. Campos? Aye. Mr. Latham. Aye. All aye. Item number six carries. We'll move on to item number seven, general business. Do we have a motion? Mr. President, I move we vote approval of general business item. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion on general business? Mr. President, I'm just saying one, one question on C and D, the change order. I was just trying to understand how we, the decrease and the increase on the change order just happened to be the same amount. Is that because it was similar equipment being ordered? I, I don't know. If it, it's on C and D. We, we had to reduce um, C and then we increased D and it just happened to be the exact same amount, 16000 $445 would be used for building A. And I, I was just curious how you know, you increase one and then decrease the other and it happens to be the same amount. That's a great question. Is, uh, Superintendent Collins? I would say that we could, I, I am assuming that 
Melanie or Matt could help us with that. And you know what? And I don't have to hear it tonight, okay? Yes, I just I just thought, you know, I've seen change orders before and I thought, wow, I mean, if we keep that up, that's a that's amazing. <laughs> we we well, it says here on the agenda that the savings will be used for the building a demolition. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. They were no. just all applied. It would sound look to me like. I think that's what. That's I, not that. That's not real. That's not my point. Okay, but that's why I said it doesn't have to be discussed tonight. That is not my point. What it's going to be used for? It's just that exact amount that. So, it doesn't have to be very odd that it's the same it's number. The exact same amount. Two you plus say, two equals four, right, Doctor yeah, Trey? Exactly. So, I, 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 there there is no doubt. That is going to be used for that, Ms. Richards. That's not my issue. That's not my concern. It's not even necessarily an issue. I just thought it was well, odd. Yeah, we can look into that, Dr. Turek. Thank you. If you if just let me know. And I, yes, that's a good observation, Dr. Turek. I, mm -hmm. I can see uh, your your inquisitive nature on that one. I'll put it that way. So. Any other discussion on item number seven? Seeing none, Joanne, will you call the roll? Ms. McKinney? Aye. Mr. Perry? Aye. Dr. Ture? Aye. Mr. McKinney? Aye. Ms. Richards? Aye. Ms. Campos? Aye. And Mr. Latham? Aye. All aye. Item number seven carries. Item number eight, personnel. Do we have a motion? I move approval, Mr. President. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? The only thing that I'll say here, and I, I think uh, it's kind of neat when you see the student presentation and then an item on the agenda later on that corresponds. Um, you may remember him saying how impactful Mr. Smith had been to him in HBA. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and we're moving Mr. Smith to office probationary employment to regular full time. And if you've ever been to HBAC, um, Mr. Mm -hmm. Smith is a, a gem um, mm -hmm. and, a, and really a great guy. And so um, kind of neat to see those a line. I don't know if it was planned that way, but it was a really good, it, Mr. Smith knew what he was doing when he was lobbying to have that guy do this presentation today, because there's no doubt <laughs> that we want to move him off of probationary employment. So well played, Mr. Smith, if that's what your game plan was. But, uh, either way, I think it was really neat to see. So any other discussion on personnel? Seeing none, Joanne, will you call the roll? Mr. Perry? Aye. Dr. Ture? Aye. Ms. Richards, Ms. Uh, Richards, Ms. McKinney, aye. Ms. Campos, aye. Mr. McKinney, aye. Mr. Latham, aye. All aye. Item number eight carries. Item number nine: encumbrances and purchasing. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, Joanne, will you call the roll? Dr. Ture? Aye. Ms. Richards? Aye. Ms. McKinney? Aye. Ms. Campos? Aye. Mr. McKinney? Aye. Mr. Perry? Aye. And Mr. Latham? Aye. All aye. Item number nine carries. Item 10. Adjourn. <laughs> We have a motion. Second. second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Joanne, will you call the roll? Ms. Richards? Aye. Ms. McKinney? Aye. Ms. Campos? Aye. Mr. McKinney? Aye. Mr. Perry? Aye. Dr. Ture? Aye. Mr. Latham? Aye. All aye. Thanks, everyone, for your time this evening. Uh, Thank the you. Thank you. Thank you. Veterans Day, Stay Mr. Safe. Perry, Mr. McKinney.